Hey guys, I'm here to do a haul and I have a mixture of a lot of things. I'm going to kind of show you what my husband got me for Valentine's Day, what I got from Shabby Witch. So that's a lot of wax melts. And then I'm going to show you what I got at Barnes and Noble and Shoe Carnival, Torrid, Walmart, and um, Hot Topic. <laughs> so let's jump in. So I first got these Yankee Candle uh, wax melts and they're sugared cinnamon apple. So I'm going to use this for Morgan because she really likes apple. And then he got me some Woodwick. And this has kind of got, it's humidor. It's kind of got like a, a man's cologne smell to it. And then he got me some cinnamon chai from Woodwick. I really like Woodwick candles too because it's got the Woodwick actually. That's why they call it that. And then it crackles and it sounds like a fireplace. And it's it's incredible. Really good for meditation. If you're someone that is having a hard time with meditation, you can just focus in on that sound. And then he got me vanilla bean, which I love vanilla. You know, I, for the longest time, I was a French vanilla girl with my coffee and now I'm caramel. So there's that. And then I got some Shabby Witch Success Tarts. And these smell amazing. It smells almost like a orange dreamsicle. It's the like closest scent that I can get. And I always remembered that. And I just, my guides were showing me that over and over again. And I'm like, okay, I need to get some. And then I got Mother Mary. And it's got a lot of rosemary scent to it and roses. And I just love the smell of this. Uh, I get these for my grandma. I used to get these for my grandma that, you know, recently passed away. So I got these in remembrance of her. So I'll burn them when I'm trying to, you know, communicate with her. And just, you know, gratitude to connect with her. And then I got her sweet pea, shabby sweet pea. And I love this. And I'm not a sweet pea person, like... Uh, I think it's Bath and Body, like their sweet pea and Walmart's. I just, I don't like it. But then once I connected with hers, I was like, oh my gosh, it just smells the whole room up. And it's such a meditative, clean smell. Yeah, it just, I don't know, it just makes me feel comfortable. You know, it just, it's like a healing scent for me. And then I got, of course, her Morgan wax melts because I work with the Goddess Morgan. And this has got an apple and heather smell to it, I believe. And it's it smells incredible. Then I also got Salem and Remembrance tarts. I really like the smell of this. It's I don't know what scent it is, but it's so it's so fresh. And it kind of reminds me, it's it's kind of fresh, but yet it's got this smell of something ancient. So that's why I like it. Like when you go into a bookstore, like an older bookstore, it's kind of got that kind of scent. And so I really want to go to Salem, Massachusetts sometime in my lifetime. And I always get those because I try to connect with those energies. And then she was nice enough to give me a sample of her lemon and I was like, I don't know about tarts, but I smelled, I'm going to smell them again because I really like it. Hold on. Ugh. It's so fresh. It smells like a lemon shake up. I don't know if you guys, you know, drink that, but it smells incredible. So that's going that and probably the vanilla bean will be that will, I thought I saw something go like that. Uh. I will probably put that in the kitchen just because I really like the scent of that. And then let me move some things around, guys. Okay. 
Walmart, I got two of these. And I'm just gonna put these around our bed, the, the head of the bed, you know, cause we got some like, it's like a steel, like black steel design. And I like to have that going when I'm trying to relax before bed. It's just kind of brings a romantic feel and like a spiritual feel to it. So that's why I got that. And then I'm going to probably put them in here too. So when I do my readings and healings, it kind of gives me that kind of, I'm trying to like find a good, cause it makes my face look really bright and I have nothing on. So it just kind of even shows my imperfections more, but I also got some Makeup, I'm not a makeup person, but I really want to start working on my self-esteem, you know, and I need to start working out. So I really want to at least try to put effort into my looks because I'm just someone that kind of rolls out of bed and that's it. So I got a wet and wild sponge to, you know, do my makeup. And like, I don't do too much makeup. It's mainly like eyes and a little bit of like blush. That's it. And maybe a lip like a lipstick, but it's not three or four coats. I don't do the contouring or any of that stuff. So I got Wet n Wild mascara and I got this Revlon and it's called Black Cherry. And then I got this um, gel eyeliner waterproof because I like to I don't I'm not someone that puts it down here that much it's mainly up here and then I got some Revlon color stay you know this is just you know what I'm going to be using on my face and then I got this palette which I thought was really pretty because I like the shimmies in there like the little glitter so I'll probably be using mainly the pink and the light purple, you know, and then when I want to have more of darker days, I'll use the other two, you know, just depending. And that's it from Walmart. And then let's do Hot Topic next. Okay, so Hot Topic. I got some necklaces. It's got like a little, like you get the choker, you get this little piece here that kind of looks like opal light, and then a little crescent moon. And it was buy two, get two free. And my husband picked this out for me. It's a mercury retrograde protection bracelet. So I got that. And then I got these really pretty earrings. They're like, it's almost like an iridescent look, but it's purple and green and I just really like the colors and, you know, I figured it'd go pretty with my hair half up, you know, it'd look nice. And I'm someone that doesn't wear hoop, doesn't wear hoop earrings. I usually just like the studs or the uh, fake gauges but I just was going to try something new. And then the last thing I got from there was this cute necklace. It's a cat with the broomstick. And I just really thought that was adorable. And I was like, I can wear that around Halloween or just, you know, when I want to feel in inspired and witchy. <laughs> so that's what I got there. And then at Barnes & Noble, I got... The Moonology Diary for 2020. And it's just got a lot of like really good information for the whole year. And then it gives you things to write about and like meditations and rituals. So I really like that. And then I also got this book. It's the Mindful Witch. And again, it's got really beautiful activities. It, it talks about the whole wheel of the year for paganism. 
and you know it talks about know thyself as a witch know your craft all that kind of stuff and then it gives you more meditations more spellcraft it gives you diary prompts which i really like that it's just really cute and i was like this is really you know good for me to get back into my craft because it's just been kind of sporadic with work and everything and then i will show you my torrid bag real quick so I just got some, you know, some lingerie and I got this, it's like really silky and I love lace and silk and I got, these are flowers with skulls. I thought that was really cute. And then I got this. This brawl, I just really like that it has more of like a gothic scene feel to it. It's really beautiful. And and then I just got another Torrid Bottoms with, you know, just black and white prints, nothing special, just really comfortable. It's cotton. And then I got a bralette and I just got another lace one, black one, but that will, you know, kind of be great for everything underneath. You know, I figured it'd just be great to have underneath all my clothes. And I like the bralettes because it doesn't have that wiring in it, you know, cause I've had, situations where it cuts through your skin it hurts you know but the other one I think has some wiring but I only wear I'll only wear that when I feel like I need more support and then this is what I got at Payless shoe carnival sorry keep saying I keep thinking Payless but it's not I got some Nike shoes, just plain, you know, pink and black for, you know, going to the gym, working out, walking. And then And then I got these black they're, they got stretchies on the side. They're like almost like rain boots. And they're really pretty. Just black, you know, because I love boots. And I figured hopefully these will hold up better than the other ones I've had. I got some on Amazon and I think my husband got the other ones. That might have been at Payless, the other ones. And they, you know, they're good. But I'm someone that is very, not the most gentle with my things. So, so uh, it kind of got, it diminished really quickly. And so the bottoms are coming off and they were cloth made. And so, you know, things would get in the boots. So I was like, these would be good because it can absorb the snow and the rain and it hopefully will last a little longer so that's why I got those but yeah that's my little haul I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will be back soon to do more videos but I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day and I will talk to you guys soon blessings